Sweeper. 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 Keeper. 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 Sweeper. Keeper. Sweeper. Keeper. Sweeper. Keeper. Sweeper. Keeper. Sweeper. Keepers are instrumental figures in today's football philosophy. Managers like Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, and Zinedine Zidane are the ones spearheading the revolution with these sorts of keepers in our beautiful game. The most well-known of those players are those like David Raya of Arsenal, Peter Schmeichel of Manchester United, or even a more well-known one like Ederson of Manchester City. However, there's a huge issue that has arisen from this. The sweeper keepers have caused a lot of controversy due to the fact that they now mostly rely on their feet to distribute the ball. This isn't bad necessarily, but it sometimes leaves teams vulnerable and more prone to goals overall. I, I presume he's very forgiving of players when they make mistakes mm. under those circumstances. At a tactical level, mistakes with sweeper keepers almost always lead to goals. Since the keeper's position has virtually been the same for decades, this has generated a quite a bit of disagreement. Older players of the game are becoming non-compliant with something they are not used to seeing, since they are witnessing such a radical change. So who's in the right? This could go one way or the other, depending on who you're asking. So today, I'm going to to try to answer the absolute question are sweeper keepers even worth it in today's game let's get right into it before we get into that question we need to be asking ourselves what is a sweeper keeper luckily enough that only takes a few google searches away to find the true definition give me a moment okay so when you go into google and type in what is a sweeper keeper you scroll down and go into the first link like i've never been there before you go there and you read up one of the first sentences pretty much so a sweeper keeper is pretty much a keeper or keepers that are encouraged to push up higher up to the pitch to kind of take the role of another defender and in some cases being able to assist in outfield build a play that's the definition man although i really think that a sweeper keeper is way more complex than just that definition that's the definition i'll be using throughout the whole video to pretty much come up with my argument and now the second question that we need to ask ourselves is who was the first goalkeeper that implemented this sort of style? And that is a great question, a pretty important one. A lot of people might point back to older goalkeepers like Russia's Lev Yashin, a keeper so good in his time that he was able to win a Ballon d'Or as a goalkeeper. Another option that might be in contention as the world's first sweeper keeper ever could be a more recent keeper like Italy's Gianluigi Buffon. This could be a great example as he utilizes his feet for accurate passing and distribution of the ball. Buffon was also one of those keepers that thrived going out more to contest balls than any other keeper of his era. All of these qualities resemble the sweeper definition. But for the sake of the video and in me trying to be more simplistic, I will base this answer off of a more well-known keeper by the name of Manuel Neuer. Manuel Neuer, Germany and Bayern's number one and for some time legendary as a sweeper keeper. He's currently the best goalkeeper in the world. He is considered by many to be one of the top goalkeepers of all time. I think he is the first of his kind, the most unique keeper of his era, and it totally makes sense why. He's probably the first keeper you think of the sweeper keeper, right? But before I convince you why he's the first sweeper keeper, you must know a little bit about Pep Guardiola to fully grasp why I say he is. Pep Guardiola's philosophy in football is undeniable. He has been on the forefront of the best team ever created on three different occasions and these are Barcelona from 2008 all the way to 2012 and Manchester City from 2016 all the way until now but there's a team that he managed between those time periods that a lot of people might forget Bayern Munich. Pep coming to Bayern Munich in 2013 was quite the shock as he had left his legendary treble winning Barcelona team to a completely new team and a completely new challenge. A start from ground zero pretty much. And what does this all have to do with Manuel Neuer might you ask? Well quite a lot actually. After many successful seasons at Bayern Munich, Pep started shifting his velocity and keepers into what we all know today. The sweeper 
keeper. The way he got this philosophy was from, you guessed it, Manuel Neuer. Pep saw the way Neuer enabled the team to operate at such incredible levels that he knew that it would be a disadvantage to the other competing teams. A lot of people might say that Pep created this way of play, but I really think that it stemmed from Neuer to Pep Guardiola at Bayern Munich. Neuer had those primitive skills from birth. I think that's quite impressive. It's inexplicable what Neuer did to Pep in order to open his mind. By this reasoning, I would suppose that Pep was the first to embrace the keeper craziness that we see today, and that Neuer's innate God-given brilliance was the sole reason for Pep's sweeper keeper success. After Pep's incredible success with Bayern, sorry, not the Champions League, teams naturally began to search for similar attributes in goalkeepers. Teams pay astronomically expensive payments for goalkeepers in today's games. Goalkeepers were never seen to be as vital as midfielders or forwards in the past. But in the last few years, they have disrupted the market to such an extent that it feels as though they are even more crucial than those positions. When I hear these huge amounts of fees for players in today's game, I can't help but wonder what could 100 million pounds get you in 2005? I'd say it would give you a complete full of stars. Wouldn't you agree? And with that mumbo jumbo that I've been talking about, the definitive question needs to be answered. Are sweeper keepers even worth it in today's game? And the definitive answer is, you guessed it, yes. I mentioned this because if your team doesn't have a keeper with these attributes, they will be at a great disadvantage when playing well-organized teams that do have a sweeper goalie on their side. It's completely altering the game and feels similar to having an additional player on the field. I am aware that some individuals are not pleased by this, but you must realize that the game has evolved over time and that these adjustments are made for the viewer's entertainment. When the VAR concept was introduced, many people were skeptical about its use and how it would even be possible with the technology at the time. However, a few years later, VAR has significantly reduced the discrepancy in matches, despite the fact that it's still far from flawless. Fans all around the world are in full support of VAR, and it makes sense. To make the game as subjectively fair as possible, everyone wants to make improvements. So sweeper keepers are here to stay, and yes, they are completely worth it, in my mind. I don't really know about all these crazy prices though, because I think that a 100 million pounds can get you a lot of players, in my personal opinion. But as a whole, I do agree on the concept. Is that pretty much what you wanted from me, I guess? Well, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. I love doing these types of videos. Catch you guys on the next one.